What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking, of course, about the Bitcoin price crash, all the way from up to 9,000, 9,500, down to touching around 8,000, and now settling down for the meantime at about 8,400 to 8,500. We're gonna be covering all of that in today's video, what potentially caused the crash, where the price of Bitcoin could be going from here, and all that is coming in today's video. Now, before we get into the video, we all knew that a big price movement was coming with Bitcoin. We were in this descending triangle for quite a while now, almost definitely a few months already, and we knew something was coming, but we just didn't quite know what. Now we have the answer, and it's a crash in the price, unfortunately. However, we knew something was coming. I've been covering it on my channel. Many other people have been covering it as well, that there's a potential big move coming up or down. Yes, it's kind of not that helpful, but at least we knew something was coming. We did have that price crash down, and it's gonna be really, really interesting to see where we go from this. Now, potentially, a lot of people are buying in now. I still personally feel we have a little bit more room to go down. Um, I may potentially buy a little bit of Bitcoin now and then wait and buy a little bit more in the coming few weeks or months, depending on the price. We're gonna be covering that in today's video. Definitely, if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe for more cryptocurrency videos. And let me know down in the comments below, are you buying at this price? Are you waiting until the price potentially goes further down? Or are you just holding and you don't really care about the short-term price, you only care about those long-term gains? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, so now we're in the computer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the markets. We're currently seeing Bitcoin around 8,500, of course. Um, the BTC dominance is still around 70%. The volume in 24 hours is fairly not, not terrible, to be honest. And the market cap is, well, to be expected after the price crash. Coming down here, looking at some of the prices, I mean, XRP, 23 cent. Uh, Ethereum, $168. Litecoin, nearly $50. One thing that stands out to me is BNB, $15, $16. It's a fairly decent price. Um, when we're looking at Binance coin. Coming down here, we've got Cardano at three cent. Uh, yeah, there's some pretty pretty big price reductions here. So if you were on the fence about buying into anything, now could potentially be a good time. Of course, it's not financial advice and the prices could go lower. We'll cover that in today's video just uh, in just a few minutes. But overall, if you wanted to dollar cost average, now wouldn't be a terrible time to start doing that. All right, guys, so if you haven't already checked out the first link in the description, that is for my one-hour free training masterclass. It's basically a one-hour free training going over exactly the steps you guys need to be taking to be making $100 per day trading cryptocurrency. Completely free and a really, really great resource you guys should be using. So that's in the first line of the description. So let's go ahead and take a look at Bitcoin. So right now, we pretty much can see the descending triangle we were in all the way up from around 13, 14,000, all the way down to around 9,500. And we finally broke out, came down to 9,350, we broke 9,100, and all the way down to pretty much $8,000, give or take on the candle wick. Now we've kind of, I don't wanna say settled, stabled, because we quite clearly haven't, but currently we're at $8,500. We could see here that once this initial line of uh, 9,500 was broken from the uh, support back in July, we just went straight through this other level at 9100 and which was just ridiculous and we eventually came down to around eight thousand dollars which is around here as of right now um it's looking pretty bearish uh, i do personally think we are going to be going further down i think we could be testing this range here even testing 7500 if not going even further down to this kind of range here and you might think what's that range there well this is pretty much um, the range that we were seeing back here at the end of the bull market, pretty much the tail end of the bull market here, before we had this massive downturn and massive break down to $3,000. Here would be a range between around 6,800 to around uh, 5,800, something like that. I do potentially think we could see that, but that's a topic for another video. As of right now, I think potentially we could be going down into this range, 7,500 to $8,000. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys think, where you guys think we're gonna be going, because it's gonna be very, very interesting to see. As of right now on the daily chart, we've got this massive one candlestick 
just completely destroying um, this descending triangle in a matter of, well, an hour <laughs> or a few hours, so to speak. Um, and it's just really, really interesting to see. We knew there was going to be a big, big breakout coming, whether it be up or down. Um, everyone was covering it. We knew something was coming. We thought it would be coming a little bit later, maybe in the next coming, what date are we on today? The 25th. We thought it would be coming in the next maybe week or so. Came a little bit early. We were kind of prepared for it. Let me know down in the comments if this move has made you do anything. If you've put stop losses on your account, if you've just not touched your cryptocurrency at all, if you just left it there. Me personally, I held from 20,000 down to 3,000. I didn't sell even one cent worth of Bitcoin. I was just buying, 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 continuously adding to my portfolio. I personally like it when stuff like this happens. It just shows there's more opportunities in the market. And if you're new to cryptocurrency, this is perfectly normal. Every market has different swings. We cannot just go up or down. It's not a yes or no game. Uh, of course, we have moments of uh, where the market is pretty stagnant. Like here, the market was fairly stagnant for at least uh, a good couple of months. And now we're seeing that breakdown. Uh, it's a pretty normal market cycle. However, even though this is a normal market cycle, there is a lot of money to be made. Just this month on the trade calls, I believe we're up over 50% profit on trading altcoins, which is absolutely phenomenal. So if you have been part of the trade calls, um, congratulations. Uh, if you haven't, there's a seven day trial link down below. Um, so yeah, overall Bitcoin price right now, 8,500. I do potentially think we could be coming lower. We did have kind of a, a retest here. And if we go ahead and take a look at the, um, the four hour, we can see that we did kind of try and break back up. We did have a little bit of a break up to around 8,700 briefly. Uh, and then now it's just, we're just seeing um, a further price reduction. However, it's gonna be very interesting to see in the next coming hours where this chart will break out to and where in fact it will take us. Very, very exciting stuff. So well manipulation incoming. This was posted yesterday, I believe, and the Bitcoin futures contract at the CME are set to expire this Friday, which is two days as of filming this. And they pretty much expect this will trigger a sharp and likely temporary price drop in BTC. That could be what we are seeing now. This was posted a day ago. That could potentially be what we are seeing now. Uh, there are a few things more predictable in Bitcoin than price, the price will fall before the last Friday of the month when the futures expire. Uh, that the price will rise after it. So they're saying that the price will fall before the futures expire, which we're currently seeing a fall, and then they're saying the price will rise after it. That is something I am not sure I agree on. I could, uh, again, I could be completely wrong, uh, but I think we may see a little bit more of a downside before we see any future upside. CME Bitcoin futures contracts are cash settled, as we know, which essentially allows people to place uh, a side bet on the price of BTC. This is where all the manipulation comes in. According to researchers, traders with enough big Bitcoin holdings could try and influence the price in the futures market by buying and selling Bitcoin on spot exchanges. This could potentially be what we're seeing here. I mean, this huge uh, daily candlestick here of about 12% just in one day. Um, it could potentially be manipulation. Um, it's a little bit suspicious that the CMEs are expiring on Friday. So definitely, I think that could be something to play in the fact. Taking a quick look at BNB, um, currently right now, BNB is actually uh, around 70% down from the 100 day moving average, um, which is really, really interesting to see. Potentially, I may be, might be making another um, video on BNB if it's a good buy or not. Let me know down in the comments if you hold BNB or if you think it might be a good buy. It's currently 70%, over 70% down from the 100 day moving average. And potentially, we could be seeing some gains coming from that in the near future. We have seen recent highs of around 42, 43 US dollars. This was only back in uh, July, only a couple of months ago, and now we're down at $15, $16. So it's very, very interesting nonetheless. If you haven't already, guys, make sure to check out that first link in the description for the $100 per day training webinar masterclass. It's one hour long, free training. I really think you guys should be taking advantage of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Definitely put your comments down below and give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know where you think Bitcoin's gonna be heading next. Do you think it's gonna be going up or down? Let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.